in this module, we'll talk about endoplasmic reticulum. Endoplasmic reticulum is composed of two different components, RER, the rough endoplasmic reticulum, and SER, the smooth endoplasmic reticulum. Both these components of cell play a very important function in sorting protein and modifying proteins. Let's talk about the rough endoplasmic reticulum first. Rough endoplasmic reticulum is called rough endoplasmic reticulum because when people first observed it under the microscope, they, it seemed very rough. It seemed very rough because the ribosomes are attached to the rough endoplasmic reticulum. As you saw in our animation, ribosomes which are making proteins which are supposed to go to lysosome or they have to be secreted these ribosomes dock at a special place on the rough endoplasmic reticulum and they inject that protein directly into the space which is between those two membranes. The space that is between the two membranes, as I mentioned, uh, endoplasmic reticulum is a double membrane structure. So the, the space between these two membranes is called the lumen. Proteins are injected in the endoplasmic reticulum because these proteins have to be first modified. Rough endoplasmic reticulum has special enzymes that can modify these proteins by adding sugar molecules to these proteins. This process is called glycosylation. It serves two very important purposes. Proteins, it can give proteins a longer life, protect proteins from proteolysis by enzymes that degrade protein molecules. It also performs a very important function. It labels the protein in a way that it is, serves as a sort of addressing system. The attachment of sugar molecules tells the cellular machinery where this protein is supposed to go. For example, if a protein molecule has to go to lysosomes, the certain carbohydrate molecules will be attached to it. Cellular machinery will recognize this protein. It will package it in a vesicle and it will send that vesicle to the lysosome. The rough endoplasmic reticulum so performs two very important functions, glycosylation of proteins and also segregation of proteins. Smooth endoplasmic reticulum also performs some chemistry. It also performs some modi protein modifications. For example, the disulfide bridge bond that we saw in our proteins, that is also formed in the endoplasmic reticulum. This smooth endoplasmic reticulum also is a site of glycogen hydrolysis. This is also the site where lipid synthesis takes place. Cells that are secreting, which for example, the cells that make and secrete antibodies or cells that are secreting digestive enzymes for our digestive tract, they, they have abundant endoplasmic reticulum. Smooth endoplasmic, endoplasmic reticulum is also very important in neutralizing harmful chemicals. For example, our liver cells have abundant smooth endoplasmic reticulum. Smooth endoplasmic reticulum contains enzymes that can modify the toxic molecules, thereby neutralizing them. The packages which are released from the endoplasmic reticulum are also released from the smooth endoplasmic reticulum part of the endoplasmic reticulum. Smooth endoplasmic reticulum is a site where these vesicles will form. They will fuse with the Golgi apparatus, which we'll talk about next. In Golgi apparatus, further protein modifications take place. 